Hey everyone, welcome to the psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about cross-cultural research. Cross-cultural studies involve studies carried out in different cultures with the objective of verifying universality of the theory or its specific applications. The problem is that every culture should be understood in its own terms. The main purpose of cross-cultural research is the elaboration of general and specific objectives to the cultures involved without distorting the common goal. The advantage of the cross-cultural approach as compared with the single culture research approach is that the possibilities for misinterpretations are very less with the former. John Whiting, a leading figure in psychological anthropology and in the development of systematic cross-cultural research states that the advantage of the cross-cultural method are twofold. First, it ensures the findings related to human behavior in general rather than being bound to a single culture and it increases the range of variation of many variables. On the other hand, the purpose of research using cross-cultural dimensions or multinational comparisons can be divided into three types. They are confirming and exploring the universality of some relationship or attribute of social men. The next is natural experiments in which regions differ in some environmental factor which can be studied using an experimental treatment. And finally, the maximum variability studies. This approach, using the cultural variable as the experimental treatment, is one of the latest development in the cross-cultural method. While cross-cultural research can be considered to use a scientific methodology, not all practitioners of cross-cultural research are in fact systematic scientists. Under the consideration, we can operationally define cross-cultural research as the activity of solving problems cross-culturally. This process leads to new knowledge using the scientific method and the comparative technique which are currently accepted as adequate by scholars in the field. Today, the area of qualitative and quantitative cross-cultural research has been expanded to many different social and behavioral fields. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.